Hi everyone, it's me Atik again. Uh, today I came with a new tutorial. Uh, today I'm going to show you how you can connect to your S3 buckets from your EC2 instance uh, using uh, IAM roles. Okay, I am in the uh, AWS console, the dashboard, so I'm going to go to the EC2 area. Okay, here I am. Then I'm going to create a new instance here. Amazon Linux 1. T2 Micro. I leave it all as default. Add storage. Add text. I give a tag then I connect to I create a new uh, launch instance I create a new security groups here so I choose my IP so it's from anywhere I will use an existing key pair, so this is I already have downloaded. So let's launch the instance. Great, my instance is ready to be launched. So let me put a name to my instance. downloads where I have downloaded the PAM file. So let's connect SSH. So I'm now connecting to my instance from SSH. Great, I am now connected, so let me update the yum package. So it's updating. might take one or two minutes so please be patient okay good so let me uh, clear all those logs great now um, my instance is up to date so I'm going to connect to the S3 bucket from my EC2 instance and let's try WS S3 LS okay uh, probably you will get an error because uh, I haven't configured any IAM uh, API key or secret or neither assigned any IAM role to the EC2 instance so let's uh, do that so this instance uh, it 
it uh, now doesn't have any permission to connect to S3 buckets. So we need to uh, assign this instance a role. A role is a temporary permission where you uh, say, uh, for example, an instance, how what other services it can access. So for example, the instance might access to S3 buckets or maybe access to SQS or Lambda functions. So you need to define that in the role. So let's create a role. I am over there I create a role I go to roles area then create a new role it will be for EC2 so let's go there then uh, it will access to S3 so I say S3 full access let's assign them then I tags then I go to next review then EC2 S3 full okay. then I get full Great, so my role is now created. So I go back to my EC2 instance and assign this role to that instance. So you can assign a role to an instance anytime as you want. Uh, so just click on the actions button, then on uh, instance settings, and then attach and replace IAM role. So let's go over there. Here you, you will see possible list of options in the IAM role to select. So let's select the role that we have just created. Then apply. You don't need to restart anything uh, the EC2 instance or the server. It's instantly updated. So let's try. In the meantime first I see if I have anything in my S3. So I just created a bucket in my S3. So it's Arctic tutorial 2019 so let's see if I can see that I run the command again and here you see I just I can see my bucket here so that means I have now access to that uh, S3 bucket without assigning any API key or API secret so that's that's really helpful because if you wanted to build an application and you, you you are within AWS so you just you don't need to give API credentials inside your co a, a file or any config file anything so the instance automatically have an access to S3 buckets so uh, that's a great uh, uh, tool or powerful thing for use user level so uh, we can we can build up applications without having api keys and secrets so let's try to do something else so let's put an image here okay so i go to a folder so i, I create a file here okay. test.txt I will say hi friends this is epic you are watching tutorials ok so let's save it so I just create a file in my server now I want to put that file to the my S3 bucket how can I do that? So it's very easy. I can just run a command and then it automatically uploads the file to the S3 bucket. Okay, uh, the command is AWS S3 CP and then the bucket then the file name and then the bucket time so the file name is test 
txt and the bucket name is I just need to copy the bucket name so let's go to uh, my bucket and this is my bucket epic tutorial 2019 then I give the file name inside that bucket so test.txt let's try this great so it says upload success rate and uh, this is in my bucket let's try go to my bucket and refresh this amazing so you see the file has been uploaded to my bucket and I, I didn't have to uh, do anything like API key setup or anything so it's it's uh, seamless and very fast so let's try to do opposite so I create a file here and download from to my S3 add a file here so let's say lights next 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 upload this Okay, upload succeeded. Let's refresh. Okay, lightsail.png. So now I'm going to download this. What should I do? AWS S3. Then I give the bucket name. CP. Then I give the bucket name S3. Tick. Sorry. Then I need to put power slashes. let's see if we can do that okay let's tell us this files yeah great so uh, we can now see we can download the file as well we can sync a folder from local directory to an s3 bucket and also do the opposite we sync a local s3 bucket to local directory so a lot of operations can be done using this process so we can assign an uh, IAM role to an EC2 instance and then instance can access to those EC2 services without having any API key or secret so um, that's that's it to my uh, basic tutorial now I'm going to terminate the instances that I have just created to clean up delete my bucket it's important to delete items that you don't use to save your billing cost Okay, my bucket has been deleted, my instance is terminated, so that's it everyone, so thank you for watching, bye.